You have asked and I have answered. Today's Q&A, as you can see, is quite the long one and it's filmed over several days. But we get into all of the juicy questions when it comes to dating, marriage, children, travel, and so much more. So without further ado, let's get into this video. why we're actually partying it is summer's birthday and we're also celebrating another birthday and also celebrating summer's departure do you um this here does it leave here okay perfect hey girl hey. yeah oh you doing video? you doing okay yeah okay. i left my flashlight i'm surprised wondering who are these people thought i was solo i still i am solo these are people i really just met the other day at the Christmas party. How it worked out was, I was technically, last night, I didn't have anywhere to stay because I hadn't booked my room. And then this night and tomorrow night, I was supposed to be going all the way to Nusa Penita, having to catch a ferry and driving and more of a, I was tired from my entire trip from Jakarta, the train ride and yada yada yay. And I didn't feel like moving and getting another ferry and getting this, this, that. I didn't feel like doing too much. So it just worked out that Summer had this place that she was moving into yesterday with an extra room. And those are the nights that I needed a place to stay. And here I am. It just it works out how God works in mysterious ways, honestly. And just divine interactions and, and meetings. I tell you what, you don't play about me. seen those videos then I suggest you go back and watch it it's quite an exciting one the follow-up to that question is what are my travel plans I just plan on traveling I don't have a particular plan and route I have a rough draft but as I enter into those countries that is when you'll know where I am going to be at next but I'll be traveling indefinitely the next question is has the van sold yet no it is still for sale as of today as of December 27th, the van is still for sale. She's What's just chilling with the net. Come, come. Guys, this is Tanil. Hello. She is an aspiring van lifer. I've been following this girl. Ran into her like, wait a minute. so crazy. I know you. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, 
this is a take two because I didn't even do the Q and A that I was supposed to do. Mm. It was eventful to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was an eventful night, guys, and uh, uh, <clears throat> it was too eventful. It was so eventful that I didn't really get to vlog like I needed to. That's okay because this is take two. And I'm gonna get to your questions today. Everyone is gone, and this is what the aftermath looks like. We have dishes in a dirty kitchen. It is a beautiful day, and we have the housekeepers coming to clean, so me and her are gonna be outside waiting for our breakfast and coffee at the pool. Okay, yeah, okay. Just move around a little bit. See what else you guys have to ask. Do you use one of the pocket translators like Fluent Talk T1 or Pocket Talk when you travel? I do not. What I do is I brush up on a little bit of the language before I do arrive in a foreign country. Here in Bali, honestly, I really don't even know how to say thank you. I see, that's all I really know. Other than that, I use Google Translate. And this is a good one because I speak about this on my social media. How do you deal with cramps while traveling? I deal with it as best as I know how, honestly. I do have a prescription from my doctor, Proxen, 500 milligrams. Is it milligrams? I don't know. And that is the best way that I know how to deal with my cramps. Because I do have fibroids, and I have fibroids that need to be surgically removed, which I just found out before I left to come to Bali. My menstrual cycle and my cramps are absolutely horrid, but I only have pretty much one day of a horrid, horrid cramps. And so the naproxen, it helps on those days. One second while we get our breakfast. Oh, hold up. It is what it is. Uh, so here's our little corridor entrance, kind of. Our driveway and he passed the driveway. Hello. I'm waiting for food. Yeah. <laughs> but you can go in. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much. No, thank you. Siempre está horneando mi abuela. Y la casa se llena del olor. En la cocina siempre su canto suena. Pero lo único que falta que me encanta es canela. Next question, are you still going to open up a cafe in Europe? That is still my dream. That is a long-term dream. I would say when I'm 40 and living somewhere in Europe and have a home base in Europe, no time between the next five years. How do you do your travel research? Visas, places to stay, flights, transportation, etc. Google is my best friend. When it comes to accommodations, I use Agoba, Agoda, Agoba, Agoda, I use Agoba, Agoda? and booking.com. I'm also an avid Hilton person, I have status with Hilton, but when it comes to these, especially these international places that I'm here in Bali, I've used Agoda and I use booking.com for most of my, for most of my combinations here. When it comes to flights, I use Google Flights and I use Skyscanner. Skyscanner I mostly use when I'm already uh, abroad. I start with Google Flights to see flights going from the States to an international destination. Visas, Google, I Google everything. Google is your best friend. Yesterday's just gonna be a little camper day, huh? It's time to get the massages. Massages are here sitting at the tables, and it's time to relax. How much can a girl relax? I don't think, I don't think there is ever too much relaxing and pampering. If you know, you know. All right guys, we're about to get our massages. <laughs> oh, this is a day. Everything. Now we're waiting on Jenna 
Jenna, waiting on you for our food. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm like starving. <laughs> We're waiting on ribs. Jenna is bringing us ribs. This is what today consists of. Pool, massage, food. Someone's trying to convince me to uh, go on the pool at night. It was, it was raining. That was what our intentions were to do. Go in the pool in the rain. But it's no longer raining and she still want to do it. Rain down on me. As long as I don't see no lizards in there swimming after me. <laughs> While she's easing her way into it. Oy, 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 oy. <laughs> Wow, she jumped in. It wasn't about that life. <laughs> All right, good night. Good night. Have you a nice shower? You know, like the game, then play. Give it to you straight all day. Oh, wow. Body do the talking, babe. Maybe if you make my grace. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cheers to our last day together. We check out of this villa. She goes back to the States for a minute and I go on to another country. So this is turning out to be a three-day Q&A. Three-day Q&A, three-day Q&A, three-day Q&A. There's really no explanation. The only explanation I can give you is I've been living life. <laughs> but as you can see, I am packing up and it is time for Summer and I to check out of this villa. I do want to finish this Q&A. So once I make it to my next accommodations, I'll get it done. Want to say bye to the vlog? Oh, huh. <laughs> Hi everyone. Yeah. Yes. See you soon. Yes. <laughs> so I have officially checked in to my next accommodations. And I must admit, the view, the cleanliness, the AC, the staff slash service, and the bed. And the icing on the cake is my patio. You see, I had an entire different plan for this Bali portion of my trip. Meeting new friends at the Christmas event kind of turned things around for me. When I arrived in Indonesia, I was hopping around different places and I was going to continue to hop around different places once I arrived here in Bali. But things changed because number one, I was just tired. I was wore out. Number two, I did meet new friends and everything just worked out for the best. After checking out the villa with Summer, I was supposed to hop around to another part of Bali. But again, I was just tired. I'm, I'm tired. I am tired. So I decided to stay here in Ubud until New Year's Eve. And I'll meet back up with some more people and celebrate the New Year's. And then we'll be on to our next destination. So we are going to get back into this Q&A, but let me pop open my uh, rosé. Oh. Okay. And get me a snack. Oh, okay. oh. Okay. Okay. Next question. I'm not sure if you still work a nine to five, but can you touch on your transition into entrepreneurship and how that's been for you? So technically, I haven't worked a nine to five since 2017. After quitting corporate America and investment banking, I became a flight attendant for three years. And then March 2020, as the pandemic was starting, that is when I transitioned pretty much full time into entrepreneurship. I did retire because my airline was offering a settlement and retirement package and so I took full advantage of that. I stepped out on faith and here I am almost three years later in full-time entrepreneurship. Next question, what inspired you to be so fabulous? <laughs> well, less likely. I, nothing really inspired me to be fabulous. It is, it's just, it's what it is. I just knew that I wanted a life of freedom. And although I'm not 100% where I want to be, I'm definitely at the start of where I pray to be. Have you considered flying again or is that chapter closed? The door is closed. The door is closed! Although being a flight attendant was a great season after working in corporate America 9 to 5, my ultimate goal was to have that freedom. Being a flight attendant on someone else's time all the time, it just doesn't fit for what I want for my life. Are you planning to travel to Africa, like Zimbabwe? 
I plan on traveling to the entire depths of the world. I want to see it all. So yes, Zimbabwe is on my list. The next question is actually pretty good. As you are an international traveler and have a lot of airport experience, is there a special point credit card or type of currency that new travelers should have or apply for and use while traveling? My best advice for that particular question is to sign up for all type of honor programs, whether it's hotels, whether it's airlines, whether it's credit cards, sign up for them. Number one, credit cards are not the devil. You really just have to know how to use them and don't take advantage of them. The top travel credit cards that I use personally is the, the Chase Sapphire Preferred and the American Express Platinum. I swear by the latter, I tell you what. For me, it is the best travel credit card that I have in my wallet. And the next question, are you able to keep up with the same eating habits while out of the country? I mean, I'm sure I can, but a lot of, especially here in, in Indonesia, it's a lot of carb based. Breakfast is rice, lunch is rice, dinner is rice. Mostly everything is rice-based or noodle-based with the fried egg on top and some kind of fried meat. But I haven't quite been able to keep my same eating habits. However, I will say this. I think that I'm eating better here than I do back home. Back home, I order Uber Eats all the time. Bonefish Grill, Rollins, Texas Roadhouse. It's, it's tragic. Oh, the rain. Peaceful out here with my little balcony. I'll tell you what. And I'm just going to talk about eating habits. Not eating chips. But this is good. Oh, and, oh, and it started to thunder. That's some good sleep right there. Oh, y'all hear that? Being that I planned on doing work for the rest of the evening, I'm not mad at the rain. So peaceful. I'm just gonna sit here on my little balcony and enjoy this rain. It is departure day. Departure day from Indonesia for now. The last couple days have been a, <laughs> a doozy. I think this may be the longest Q&A in history. A lot has happened in the last couple of days, moving around, meeting new people, doing this, doing that, that I had not really expected to do. I'm not bad about it. That's actually one of the questions that someone had asked me. What do I have planned for 2023? Because in my life, I always have everything strategically planned, step after step after step. And that's how I'm wired in a sense. I like to make sure that things are planned out properly um, to, to a degree and go from there. But 2023, this year is going to be a challenge for me because I'm stepping back from that strategic planning step by step by step. I wanted this year to just take me wherever it took me. Yes, listening to my spirit and my soul and, and going according to God's plan, but I'm allowing him and allowing it to lead me throughout 2023. And whatever happens, happens and being okay with those changes and being okay with where I end up. While also focusing on my businesses, Lux Nomad Travels and my brand Antoinette Yvonne with some other things that I have in the works. <laughs> 2023, here we are. <laughs>
pack up my... It's always something, right? You know when you're packing up things and you know you have everything in your suitcase before the struggle close? It's always something that you leave behind. Ah, oh, that is the most annoying thing in the world. Huh? Guys, I've been staying at this lovely villa with these lovely ladies the last couple of days. Wait, oh, uh -huh. <laughs> they both said no, so. Cut. But the last couple of days, I've had the pleasure of staying in this beautiful villa with these lovely ladies. One of which is actually a subscriber. I met her at the Christmas. <sighs> You guys, I've introduced you guys to her a little earlier in the video, but that's it. That's, that's quite sad, actually. <laughs> hmm. I have 20 minutes to get out of here. Let me finish packing up and do what I gotta do. sat down at the jankiest lounge in history. And what makes matters worse is I actually had to pay to get in here. Don't ask me where they do that at. They do it here. Here. I guess that would be the downfall of actually being based here in Indonesia, Bali to be specific, is the airport. I would definitely come only for the flights, not for the lounges. Be here on time, an hour and a half before the flight. I'm not gonna complain. Let's get back into this Q&A. How do I make money? Number one, I own a travel agency, Lux Nomad Travels. Number two, I am a full-time YouTuber. You can really make money on YouTube? Yes, I've been doing it for two years. Antoinette, what about settling down, marriage, and kids? What really defines settling down? I don't think I will ever settle down. My plan for my life is to be able to move about freely. I will probably have a base home outside of the country. If I see myself settling down, it'll be outside of the States. But as far as being somewhere full time, it'll never happen. Marriage, yes, it's definitely in the books for me. But children, not so much. The next question is, what is the actual future of this channel? That's a terrific question. As you guys know, I'm no longer in the van. The van is currently up for sale. And it's safe to say that I'm no longer a full time van life vlogger. If you've been around for quite some time, you've seen that this channel has seen different phases. When I first created this channel in 2015, I was a travel and beauty vlogger. I realized I really didn't enjoy the beauty portion. And then I became a flight attendant, so I incorporated that flight attendant aspect into this travel vlog. What I might do is actually unarchive those videos where we can see those humble beginnings. And then I became a van life vlogger, which still fit into that travel niche, right? Now that I've pretty much transitioned from van life at the moment, I'm doing full-time travel. So this channel has always been a travel vlog. This is what I'm currently doing now, traveling internationally full-time has always been the main goal and the main mission of this channel. So that will be the future of Antoinette Yvonne channel. And I guess the main mission for Antoinette Yvonne's YouTube channel, number one is to help improve the understanding of the world, and number two is to help expand people's comfort zone while also expanding my own. Showcasing the challenges, the ups and the downs, the wins, the frustrations, the needs, the cultural differences, and everything that is really associated with journeying through life from a different perspective inside the world we live. Were you always an entertainer or did it evolve as your channel get more popular? <laughs> I don't even consider myself an entertainer. I know you guys be laughing at me. I laugh at myself. I'm, I'm just showing up as Antoinette Yvonne. That's who I am and uh, I say things that most people will be probably scared of saying because of looking too strange or weird. I'm, I'm, I'm weird. I'm really weird. And I show up as my weird self. I guess as a kid, I have always been goofy. I actually got in trouble a lot 
because I was that goofy kid. So I literally have 20 minutes to hammer out the next 10 questions and then we're gonna have to call it a day. I wanted to finish this vlog before I left Indonesia, so let's get to it. The next question, what inspired you to become a YouTuber? One thing about me is I love reality shows and creating a YouTube was just creating my own personal reality show and have my full brain and creativity over it. What advice would you give YouTubers or influencers who are just getting started? The best advice that I could give you is to be consistent. What international foods do you love the most? I am a Thai junkie. I love Thai food. Which YouTuber do you follow the most that you can recommend? I watched a couple, Kara and Nate. I watched Yes Theory. And there's a few more that I can't really think of, but I'll leave it in the description box below. Ooh, this is a good question. What would you do if you didn't become a YouTuber? Aesthetics, not aesthetics, aesthetics. An esthetician. I would have definitely become an esthetician. Open me a health skin spa. Why does this cap I still might? Fun fact. Back in high school, my junior and senior year, I was actually in cosmetology school. What is your favorite thing about YouTube and being your own boss? There are a lot of different loves that I have. Number one, freedom. That's all I ever really wanted when it came to leaving my five is the freedom. Why I love YouTube specifically is the creativity. I love being creative. I love editing. I love interacting with y'all. I love being able to show you all the things that is possible. Are you in a relationship? Would you show your boyfriend or girlfriend or ever become a couple channel? When it comes to showing my boyfriend, because no offense, I am heterosexual, let me be clear for the ones in that because I've gotten a lot of questions. Y'all know who you are. I am heterosexual. Would I ever show my boyfriend? I don't know. Will I ever become a couple channel? I can't say it'll be a couple channel, but obviously I showcase my life, right? And so, you know, when I do enter a relationship, and that person has proven himself and things progress, that person will be a part of my life, which in turn will be a part of the channel. So, I think that answers your question. What do you do about negative or nasty comments? I lock, lock, delete. You really gotta brush it off. Because at the end of the day, I know exactly who I am and I know exactly whose I am and whatever he says about me. Now catch that. And the last question. What is your long-term aim? Uh, the long-term aim is to contribute to this world. However God uses me to serve, that is what I aim to do. YouTube will not last forever. So naturally, YouTubers won't last forever, if that makes sense. I hope that does because I'm really out of time. I wish I could make you stay. Cause baby, I love you. Why are you trying to break us up? I'm trying to build it up I wish I could make you stop Cause baby I love you Finally made it to the gate I now have a 5 hour and 10 minute flight I think they're going to be boarding pretty soon But my plan is because I didn't pay for a seat And it's a pretty empty flight I'm going to wait to board last So I can just pick any seat That's the trick It's an empty flight They're going to charge $30 to pick a seat Bye so I hope I've answered most of you guys' questions. I did receive a lot. I'm sorry if I didn't get to your question. Or if you do have questions, my email is always down below. If you wanna see where I end up next, then don't forget to watch the next video. Let us cheers to normalizing the luxury to live free inside our feet.